Let us look at the fourth degree polynomial where we want to factorize x to the power of 4 plus 3x cubed minus 7x squared minus 27x minus 18. A good place to start is to find whether x plus 1 and x minus 1 are a factor. The easiest is to check whether x minus 1 is a factor. So the test for that is you add the coefficients. So sum of coefficients is 1 plus 3 uh, minus 7 minus 27 minus 18. Okay, now this obviously is never going to be 0. So we can directly say it's not 0. Now what does that mean? This implies x minus 1 is not a factor. That means if, x, if it was 0, you can say x minus 1 is a factor. I have made a video on this test. Uh, where you can, by these two tests, you can s directly say whether x plus 1 or x minus 1 is a factor. Now the next test is to find whether x plus 1 is a factor, for which you add the even power variable coefficient. So sum of even power variable coefficient, COE. So what do I mean by that? Sum of even power variable. So now this one is an even power variable. So here x to the power of 4 I name that as even power. x squared is even power. And this 18 is 18x to the power 0. So these three are the even power variable coefficients. So I'm going to add them. That is 1 plus 3 minus 18. Okay. 1, oh, oops, I made a mistake. 1 minus 7. 1, 1 minus 7 minus 18. Now this is minus 25, and so this is minus 24. Okay. So what is the sum of? Sum of odd power variable coefficient would be what? Would be uh, the, uh, sorry, I had put, uh, I underlined this incorrectly. So let me correct myself. So I meant the even power variable coefficient was 1, negative 7, and negative 18. So the odd power coefficients are the coefficient of x cubed and the coefficient of x to the power 1, which is minus 27. So 3 minus 27 is also minus 24, negative 24. Now this means, this implies, or this test tells me that x plus 1 is a factor. So I'm going to do the synthetic division to determine the quotient polynomial. So, let me use the scala. So, I have to write the coefficient of the given uh, polynomial, which is 1, 3, negative 7, negative 27, and negative 18. Now, x plus 1 is a factor, so you, you write negative 1 here. Okay. So, this is a very neat way of dividing. You don't need to do the long division. This is basically the long division. So you write, you add these two numbers. So 1 plus 0 is 1, and then you multiply this two. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, and 3 take away 1 is 2. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. This gives you negative 9. You have to be very careful. So this is plus 9. This is plus 9, and this would be minus 18. This is plus 18. So this also tells us that x plus 1 is a factor because this is the remainder. That means when you're dividing this polynomial by x plus 1, the remainder is 0. So this is also a second way of checking whether this test is right or wrong. So what does this mean? This implies this 1 is a coefficient of x to the power of 4 plus 3x cubed minus 7x squared, minus 27x, 
minus 18 is equal to this minus 1 tells me x plus 1 is a factor and these are the coefficient of the quotient polynomial so 1 stands for x cubed because here logically you can understand if it is x to the power of 4 I have to have x cubed so this is 1x cubed plus 2x squared minus 9x minus 18 okay now I'm going to say I have to factorize this so I'm going to say let say f uh, say p of x is x cubed plus 2x squared minus 9x minus 18. Now to find again you can go over the same process you add the coefficient you can directly see here yeah, the sum of coefficient is not zero you add the odd power coefficient so 1 and negative 9 gives you negative 8 and this gives you negative 16 so x both x plus 1 and x minus 1 are not factors so by looking at negative 18 I'm making a guess I'm going to make a guess is x plus 2 a factor so this is a question I'm posing a question this is a trial and error method is x plus 2 a factor now what made me think x plus 2 because uh, 2 times negative 9 is negative 18 so this may be possible I'm not sh sure so I'm going to do the synthetic division so I write the coefficient 1 2 negative 9 negative 8 now this is only a uh, check okay so I'm only checking I'm only trying whether so I'm going to divide by negative 2 okay so start 0 this is 1 negative 2 this is 0 this is again 0 this is negative 9 and this is positive 18 so well done so this tells confirms that yes x plus 2 is a factor so what can I write therefore I can say p of x is x plus 2 times this is the coefficient of x squared so this has to be x squared plus 0x minus 9 now 0x you don't need to write 0x I've written that just to tell you uh, just to show what's the meaning of this 0 that is 0x so this is 0x so this is nothing but p of x is x plus 2 times x squared minus 9 now this is a difference of two squares which is x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 3 therefore therefore our on original co original question was uh, x to the power of 4 plus 3x cubed minus 7x squared minus 27x minus 18 is equal to we started by x plus 1 times p of x and p of x is x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 3 so these are the coefficient or uh, these are the factors of our given so this is x plus 2 I'll write, write it properly so the factors are x plus 1 x plus 2 x plus 3 and x minus 3